So here we're working this unit circle backwards. What? They gave us the cosine of theta is root 3 over 2, and they want to know all of the thetas in 0 to 2 pi that make the cosine root 3 over 2. And let me remind you that on a unit circle, our coordinates are cosine, comma, sine, because cosine is governed by x and sine is governed by y. And that's why I'm going to go on my unit circle and I'm going to look for root 3 over 2 in the first position, the cosine. So let's go get it. Bam, there they are. That's where root 3 over 2 happens in the x position because cosine is governed by x. So what's next? Our answers are the corresponding radian measures. That's why theta is pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. Let's try something a little bit more fantastical. I'm talking about something like 45. When we're looking for the secant of theta, we're looking for the theta that makes the secant minus root 2. So let me remind you that the secant is 1 over the cosine corresponding the cosine is 1 over the secant. But wait a secant. We know the secant is minus root 2. So we go throw that in there, and you rationalize because it's the right thing to do. And then you got a minus root 2 over 2, but that's the cosine. Guess what? That same angle is going to make the secant minus root 2. So let's go find that on our unit circle. Cosine is x, so I'm going to go find where my x's are minus root 2 over 2. Look at my x's. Hate them. Okay, yeah, so it's 3 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4, and it's all over, but the box and flowers.